Hello everybody, Science Handsome Jack Boy here, bringing you guys a very special Borderlands 1 video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the FOV for Borderlands 1 on PC. Now, with Borderlands 1, it's not as simple as going into a menu and changing the FOV via a slider. You actually have to put a little bit more effort into it and dig a little deeper. By that I mean you need to change one of the game's config files. But right now, I'm going to be showing you guys what exactly you're going to need to do. And uh, it's actually really simple. There's not a whole lot of effort uh, involved. It's just not as simple as going into a menu and changing it that way, which I don't understand why they didn't do that with Borderlands 1. They should have at least added that in via a, a patch or something, but they didn't. I don't know why they didn't, to be honest with you. But anyways, let's get right into it. Now, first things first, what you're going to want to do in order to change the FOV for Borderlands 1 is you're going to want to locate uh, your Willow config files. Now, for me, and for most of you guys, uh, it is going to be located within my documents, my games, Borderlands, Willow game, config, and bam, here they are. But some of, for some of you, the location of your my games folder may be in a different place, uh, but generally that it is located within my documents. Now, uh, the only config file we are going to be editing here is Willow Input. The rest of these you don't need to worry about, so I highly recommend backing up this one right here, Willow Input, uh, because it is the only one we are going to be editing. Editing, I can't even speak today. Um, so I highly recommend backing this up before making any changes whatsoever, just in case you mess something up or you change something you didn't mean to change. Anyways, let's go right into it. Now once you're in Willow Input, you're going to need to uh, scroll to the bottom of this section, Engine Player Input, and um, you're going to need to copy and paste a few key bindings. Now I will leave these key bindings in the description below, but basically you're going to copy and paste them right here uh, at the bottom of this section. So they're basically going to look like this, so you're just going to want to copy and uh, go back to this document and you're going to want to pretty much paste them right at the bottom here. So once you do that, uh, it's going to look like this and you're just going to want to press enter right here and bam, there you have it. Now what this will do is this will add hotkeys in Borderlands 1 that allow you to change the FOV on the fly just by pressing these keys. Now you can change these keys to whatever you want so if you don't want F9, F10, F11, and F12 to be the keys you need to press in order to change the FOV, you can definitely change those. Uh, you can also change the FOV to your liking but the default FOV is 70, so I recommend keeping this one on here just in case you want to switch it back to the default FOV, but you know, if you guys you know, don't like the default FOV, you can definitely change that, but I just recommend keeping it on here just in case. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it guys, uh, let's, let's see if this worked. Now as you guys can see, we are back in the Borderlands, let's press on the button, see if this worked. Boom, there we go guys. It looks like we have successfully changed the FOV. Now that that's pretty much all there is to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm not one for changing the FOV. I like leaving it at the default because I've always, well not always been a console player, but I started out being a console player um, and I guess I'm just used to the default FOV in games, but maybe I'll get used to changing it. I'm not sure to be honest, but it, it looks pretty cool, you know, having that field of view, I guess increased I actually I actually like that to be honest so maybe I'll get used to it I don't know but uh, this is pretty much a temporary fix I'm not sure if there's a permanent fix but um, you know this is the I guess the most common fix out there so anyways that's that's pretty much it guys like I said I hope you enjoyed this be sure to rate comment and subscribe for more and I'm out of here peace